Now, Nick, welcome. How are you? Hey, hey, my friend. What's going down? How are you? I'm doing great. And yourself? Are you going to miss the Subway Series now that it's over? Did you enjoy um, it? How much fun was that, man? I mean, there was uh, there was an added electricity for that, and you got to love those. I mean, I'm the rivalry guy. I love rivalry series, and, uh, you know, those are a lot of fun to be part of. You, you seem to do well at City Field. I heard you saying you like City Field, huh? I, I tell you what, I feel that since they've moved the fences in and, and lowered the fences, uh, it, it just feels like more of a fair ballpark to play in. So, uh, you know, for us, man, going over there, because we don't get the chance to play there that often, you know, only once a year. So to be able to go over there and just to enjoy that the, uh, the atmosphere they have over there, uh, it's great to be part of. You've hit the ball well in City. You hit one out of City Field, I think, two years ago in the game Burnett pitched. So you've hit well in City Field. Yeah, you know what? Uh, it's, it's got a good feel to it, you know. So, uh, But to be able to go over there and pull off those two out of three wins, man, that was big for us. All right, how about for, let me take me through Friday night that Ike ball. What what happened, and was the ball out of the park anyway or not? You know what? I mean, it was just kind of one of those you know those close plays, man. You know, my timing was a little off on that. And Big Ike, man, he's got some light tower power, man. So when he he hit that ball straight up in the air, man, I just tried to make a great play, but just came up a little short. And w would it have gone out, or could you tell? Uh, you know what? I, it might have. I think it might have hit the top of the wall and bounced over. But I tried to get it, man. Just couldn't quite get up high enough. All right, tell me about the knuckleball. First of all, that knuckleball versus any knuckleballs you've seen. Was it a different knuckleball? Was it a much harder knuckleball? Well, I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, I've only faced two knuckleballers in my life, man, Tim Wakefield and Dickey. And, you know, those guys are two completely different styles of pitchers. But, you know, RA's had such a tremendous season this year, man. You know, best pitcher in baseball, no doubt. Uh, numbers speak for themselves. Uh, but to go out there and to have the success that we did, uh, you know, you got to feel happy about that. All right. What was your – take me through that at bat. What was your approach there? What was your, Did you try to do anything different? Nick, on, on a knuckleball, did you have any different approach at the plate? Well, I think just just like everybody else, man, that old saying, you see it high, let it fly. You see it low, let it go. So uh, just for me, man, trying to find something up in the zone because his his knuckleball has more of a darting action right. than it does more of a knuckle effect. Um, so you just try and catch one of those, I guess, not so good knucklers that, that aren't moving as much as, as the other ones uh, and, and just do whatever you can to try and find the barrel of the bat. Talking with Nick Swisher's three-run home and a big shot last night. Did you think that was gone off the bat? Well, you know, I, I felt like I hit it pretty good, man, but that's a big ballpark, man, so <laughs> I was running the whole way. All right, Nick, what about everything else? How about that chicken? Did the chicken stuff bother you guys or no? Uh, you know, I, I don't think so. I think I, I don't think it was a, a personal crack on, on, on us in any way, uh, but I mean, you got to have fun with that stuff, man. I mean, the series is, is getting back to where it needs to be. Um, you know, it's an exciting series to be part of. It's an exciting series to watch. Um, I thought it was great. I, yeah, see, I, 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 I thought it was great six games. That's a lot Absolutely. of fun. I think Absolutely. I think it's great stuff. I think it's a great thing to have in the middle of the season. I think it's a lot. See, you embrace it. A lot of guys oh, don't. I think, I think it's fun. I mean, I'm such a rivalry guy. I mean, I, I dig that type of stuff. But, you know, in the end, man, you know, you got to stand up for your team and you got to stand up for what you believe in. And I believe in this organization and this team. And, and you know, uh, <laughs> that's that's pretty much it. All right. You take a deep breath now. The Subway Series over. Interleague's over. The Yanks did great again in Interleague this year. They always do. And now you get ready uh, to play some A baseball 15 games over 500 what's your thought about the club now as you get ready to see the Indians and the White Sox this week well I, I tell you what to uh, to have one of the best records in baseball uh, at this point of the season especially going through all the stuff that we have with the injuries uh, the ups and downs uh, things like that I mean we got to feel pretty good about where we stand you know I mean this team is good and I feel like this team needs a little uh, um, um, just just to keep things going the way that they are um, you know it's really chill in here it's really relaxed uh, uh, we're just coming to the ballpark every day and uh, and, and battling. All right, this week is uh, is a good week. I know you love Old Timers Day, a Sunday coming. Oh, yeah, man. You're the yeah. only guy I know that's out there early every year that I go to. <laughs> you're out there talking to all the old guys before anybody else. You love being on the bench talking to all the old guys, don't you? I'm telling you? you what, man. You know, uh, I feel the game has changed a little bit, even since from when I, I first came up. Um, but I'm telling you what, man, that's when, uh, you know, baseball was it. And uh, all those guys want to do is just talk about the game. And, and that's the one thing that I know a lot about. Uh, so to be able to go out there and, and to meet the men and, and the women behind them um, uh, who made the Yankees who they are, man, that's that's that pride, that's that tradition, that's that passion that I'm always talking about. And those are the guys that brought that here. It's nice because you know what? They like the attention. So they like seeing the contemporary guys pick their brain about stuff and everything. And, you know, uh, you know, we'll miss 
Moose here because I love Moose. Was oh, well. I know what, you what like Moose too. Guy. He was, yeah, you know, yeah. he was great. And I, I remember you and I and Moose talking. So right. we, he, he's just wonderful. We'll miss Moose. Now, this is also Hope Week. So tell me a little bit about that. You guys got a lot of things planned this week with the Hope Week stuff, which oh, has become this, a big this, deal for you guys. Absolutely. And, and what's even great is more teams have even uh, jumped on the bandwagon and, and, and are really starting to do this. And I think more than anything, man, this is just about going out and spreading out joy, just enjoying yourself, you know, letting, letting people know that there are people out there that do care about them. And for us, man, I mean, if we could do it all season long, I think we could. Uh, I think we would love to do that. But you know what? To be able to do it for this week, I mean, it's exciting, man. You know, right after the Subway Series, you know, we've got Hope Week going on this week. we got Old Timers Day, man. Baseball is going to be going good for the Yankees for the next couple weeks. Well, listen, congratulations on your uh, home run and uh, keep up the good work. We'll talk to you. Thanks, Nick. All righty, my friend. Thank you, bro. All take right, care. take care.